Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Giacomo Mazzamuto. I work at the European Laboratory for Nonlinear Spectroscopy, or LENS, in Florence, Italy, uh, in Professor Pavoni's group. Um, we are involved in the Human Brain Project under several sub-projects, so let me start off by giving a quick overview of what our workflow looks like. Um, we are an experimental lab, so the focus is mostly on high-resolution imaging of whole mouse brain or also portions of the human brain cortex using advanced techniques such as a light sheet for SS microscopy or two photon for SS microscopy. These, these instruments produce uh, huge data sets. We are in the range of seven terabytes per single tomography or 10 to the power of 12 voxels per tomography. So we are in the terabyte range. And the first thing we need to do in our processing pipeline is image stitching. Uh, this is because these instruments produce images in the form of a grid of overlapping tiles that we need to fuse together in order to reconstruct the global volume. So we, we do this using a stitching software that I, I developed and which was specifically designed uh, to deliver high throughput with this kind of big data sets. Then after image stitching, of course, we want to be able to extract information out of our uh, raw images, and we do so using a deep learning approach. So there is, first there is an annotation phase in which a human expert uh, creates a ground truth that is then used to train a neural network, and after prediction we are able, for example, to uh, extract the spatial distribution of cells in the whole mouse brain, or to do automatic cell segmentation and classification. As I said, our data sets are pretty big, and so recently we have started experimenting with video compression algorithms to reduce the data set size, and we obtained quite encouraging results, as I, as I will show you in a moment. And finally, we would like to uh, make our data sets available to the rest of the project and the broader audience through the neuroinformatics platform after registration with the reference atlas of a mouse brain. Uh, to give you an example of what a typical data set uh, looks like, here is a typical data set. It's a whole mouse brain tomography obtained with the light sheet for SS microscope. Uh, we are imaging at uh, sub-micron resolution, so we are able to see individual neurons pretty well. Uh, this particular data set that is being shown here uh, is made of a mosaic of 15 by 12 stacks, 23 gigabytes each, for a grand total of 4.2 terabytes for this particular data set. As I said, in order to obtain the global volume that we see here, we need to do image stitching, and we do this using this software, Zeta Stitcher, which is available on GitHub. It was developed entirely in Python. It's still at an early stage of development, but we are already using it in production data sets. It's delivering quite good results and performance. One thing that I like particularly about this software is that it comes with an API, that is to say a programming interface, that allows me to query the fused volume uh, at arbitrary locations uh, without actually needing to produce the whole fused file, which would be another four terabytes of data. And this is useful, for example, to, f to scan the whole data set and feed it to whatever uh, processing pipeline comes downstream in the analysis. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are experimenting with video compression algorithms. Why do we do this? That's because uh, a tomography, like the data set that I was showing you before, really looks like a movie in a sense, in that co consecutive slices in the tomography look like consecutive frames in a video, in a sense. And therefore, video compression algorithms are very efficient, extremely efficient, at r considerably reducing the data set size. In this particular example, we were able to go from an uncompressed data set of roughly two terabytes down to two gigabytes for the same data set. Of course, I'm talking about lossy compression here, while still retaining a very good image quality that is certainly uh, suitable for dissemination or for visualization. But we are obtaining good results also, and good compression ratios also with lossless compression. Using, using this method. And in this case, we were using high efficiency video coding for this particular example. Uh, to conclude, let me show you two quick examples of what our processing pipeline uh, looks like. Here is, uh, in the case of the whole mouse brain, uh, during the annotation phase, during the manual annotation phase, 
we generate markers to pinpoint the centroids of individual neurons in the, in the whole mouse brain tomography. These markers are used to train a neural network. Um, actually, we generate synthetic images out of these markers that are then used to train the neural network. Uh, basically, what the neural network does, it uh, enhances the um, neuronal bodies while discarding everything else in the image that is not a neuronal body. Uh, so it acts as a highly nonlinear filter in a sense, so that later it's easier for us to uh, determine the X and Y and Z coordinates of every neuron. This is an example of, uh, it's unfortunately not easy to see on the screen, but this is a um, point cloud of 200,000 Purkinje cells automatically localized in the cerebellum of a, of a mouse brain. This work is done in cooperation with Professor Frasconi's group at the uh, Information Engineering Department of the University of Florence. And finally, uh, this is a totally different data set. This is a, uh, a slice, uh, a, a portion of the human brain cortex imaged at the two photon microscope. Uh, we are able to see individual neurons. Uh, again, uh, we do manual segmentation, that is to say we manually draw the contours around individual neurons and we classify them in different classes depending on their shape and size. And after training a neural network, we are able to do segmentation of the cellular shape uh, automatically. This work is done using a software framework named Aliquis, which is developed by an Italian company, Biorectix, specializing on mach in machine learning for computer vision. And this is the same data set shown in, uh, in a three-dimensional rendering where you can see that we are able to reconstruct the cellular bodies uh, in space and we can see how they are distributed in space. Uh, that was it. Uh, thank you very much. Let's meet at the poster later today. Thank you.